Because from here, see? Counters. Bam! Bam! See this counters? I just doing multiple counters. If I block diagonal, bam! The moment I block in his upper extremity block, it could be a strike to his head. Or else from here, the moment he black, I can just direct it into a locks in here. Okay? Or else from here, the moment he black, I can just easily take his spear weapon away. So those are the, the blocking that you need to learn which is very important. I'm going to bring in a special guest here. Uh, this is a guy close to our heart. We are filming a digital seminar with him, but uh, I'm going to bring in Grandmaster Felix Roles, and I think we're just going to watch these guys do some uh, blocking mechanics and some drill stuff. So I guess uh, you could take it away. Right. Okay. Um, just talking about the blocking, which is a very essential, very important in uh, the, the, the martial art or the Filipino martial art. So, um, first thing that you need to learn um, uh, before blocking is you have to emphasize and learn the stances at full work, okay? And then how to hold properly, which is uh, Francis showed it already, how to hold uh, your six properly. And the blocking is very important. You know why? A lot of people can strike and hit, but not too many people can block or defend. So, just talking about the blocking, either it is a, a, a vertical, a vertical block, or a diagonal block. Notice uh, Francis, when he, when I strike, he always put his, uh, uh, his, his uh, weak hand just to support, to reinforce a secondary block. Because if it strikes too hard or too powerful, if you don't put it in there, uh, a secondary block, you might get hit your, by yourself. What are your own thing? So to practice with the blockings, either the vertical or diagonal, you can do it by, by uh, doing that like back and forth one, and you can do the same thing. See, with a few. And notice, I'm not overextending because if I to extend too much, I'm gonna be losing my leverage. So it's enough to control, enough to control because from here, so many options that you can do. Unlike you extend too much, it's like you have more, uh, you know, limited uh, movements. But once you hear, once you hear, you check, you apply a block, secondary block, and check. From here, the moment he moves, I can just easily go into a disarm, into like locks, into locking position, or throws. Okay? So there's so many options after you learn the blocking. So let's go to like di diagonal block. If I strike, same thing. He always applies secondary block at the same time. Check. You should go back and forth. And it applies also if I strike to the midline, you can strike to the low line, you should apply. Okay? See? So this go to continue blocking. See that? Same thing. So this is how you practice your blocking. Okay? This is the diagonal or vertical. Okay? Then you can just control here. Vertical. See that? Okay? Okay. So this is how you practice. Because from here, once you get familiar with the blockings, easy for you to counter or do the counters. So from here, block, bam, counter. Single counter, double counter. And make sure that when you execute this technique, that you, you are in the proper stance. Because from here, the options that you can do, bam, either a kick in there, an elbow in there, a strike in there. So after you learn the blocking, now you continue to counter. Because from here, see, counters. Bang, bang. See this counters. I just doing multiple counters. If I block diagonal, bam. The moment I block in his upper extremity block, it could be a strike to his head. Or else from here, the moment he block, I can just direct it into a locks in here. Okay. Or else from here, the moment he block, I can just easily take his spear weapon away. So those are the the blockings that you need to learn which is very important. Stay with us. We have more videos coming uh, with our YouTube, I mean YouTube, oh, yeah. Budo Brothers. Budo Brothers, <laughs> yes, we got the digital <laughs> seminar coming. We have so, a full in-depth view of this man's art, Pakamut, uh, straight from the Philippines. His ancestors passed it down directly to him and we get to the privilege of learning directly from the source, from the real deal, and we are so glad to be here and 
I think these YouTubers will, or <laughs> I think these people here will just enjoy Yeah, to our, to our followers, you know, we're so grateful also with our Buddha brothers who took the, the opportunity. And trust me, with, uh, with, with all their hearts that, you know, uh, for us to, uh, to share this knowledge, uh, the, 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 the art, to all over the world because not too many in here I mean just by myself promoting this art and hopefully that will uh, this um, these brothers will continue and support me because I can do it by myself what is these people trust me and loves me so I'm very grateful and I'll tell you he is one of the most lethal people that I've ever encountered but one of the nicest guys and we're so glad to be here thank, thank you, you so much brother and thank you thank you we look forward the future. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about the full-length digital seminar and full training curriculum, click the link below.